My name is Benjamin Rayberg. Um, I'm a partner and managing director with BCG out of New York. I work primarily in the technology and operations uh, function in the financial services sector. I think transformation is a pretty big challenge for a couple of reasons. Number one is the pressure coming from the digitization of our economy and of our environment is mounting and, cre and creating new demands on technology. Um, I think secondly, um, this translates into that um, IT leads have to deal with the legacy technology inherited in almost any organization. And secondly, the pressure to deliver faster, better quality is mounting as well. I think software measurement affects transformation because it makes the impact and the value of the transformation transparent. As for example, when we think about the velocity or the efficiency of our application development, software measurement and measuring function points can create the uh, key metric uh, to showcase the efficiency. Or in another example, when we think about technical depth or inherent risk in an application environment, measuring before and after will show us that our transformation actually took the value we, want, we wanted to achieve. So I would say that most transformation projects these days, at least in the financial services sector, which I'm most familiar with, are around two topics. Either they're really about creating cost efficiencies in the technology sector, um, and the other, the other side is improving agility of software delivery. Now for the first one, um, I think that software measurement um, is a critical component as um, cost takeout obviously is a function of reducing technical debt in applications. Um, now the, the catch is a little bit that it takes long, it's, it's usually not the three to six to nine month exercise. Having said this, um, I think creating the transparency will help. The other side is um, improving the agility of software delivery. And here, obviously, software measurement can play a big role in making the um, impact of agility more transparent. Generally, I would say that there are a lot of areas in which we have a very good understanding where technology is. When you think about portfolio management, when you think about cost charge out, when you think about um, uh, the, the organizational skills. I think there are tools, there are ways, there are approaches to make this transparent. I think where we're lacking broadly um, the quality of transparency or of measurement is in the space of what is the efficiency of our application development area, i.e. the holy grail of software development count, function point counts. And secondly, getting a robust understanding of the quality and the risk inherent in our application landscape. There are obviously two reasons why software managers should care about software management. One is they want to create internal transparency, how good they are. They want to compare parts of the organization against each other. Mm -hmm. And they want to see where best practices lead to better outcomes. The other side of it is, the transparency and the, the conversation with the business. As if you can argue fact-based what you're doing, you will have a better understanding, mutual understanding of the value IT can bring to the table, but also the challenges IT will face based on the demands from the business. Where well, I think that the critical factor here is the storyline which you're wrapping around the metrics. What we often see is that if you put the pure metrics in front of the business, the business has no idea what to do with it and that they don't understand what, what the heck, what should I read out of this? It's a score, it's a number, it's a something per something, but whatever. How can I influence it? If you wrap it in a storyline and in the story you explain A, the value, the impact of the metrics and also what happens if these metrics change and whether this is good or bad for the business and how the business can influence whether these metrics can change or not, then you're getting a meaningful conversation between the CIO and the business based on these metrics.